northwest on South Cleveland Avenue for 0.6 miles, then turn left onto Beacon Manor Drive. So right now we're responding to a possible hazmat incident, mutual aid uh, coverage requested by Lee County SO. Uh, limited information, we do have that they had a package that they had to x-ray. Um, so what we're trying to do is uh, get our hazmat team there so that we can assist with it. Um, we beat them here. So right now we're going to make contact with uh, whoever's in command and uh, as a mutual aid request, um, here's BC60 right here. We'll see what exactly they need from us and we can go from there. I see them over there. But I think I'm probably going to park right here. Rescue 11, control. What's going on? Bomb squad here. They they came in. Um, they got a. How call. you doing, man? Good. How are you? Good. They got a call for an envelope, a suspicious package being mailed to this house over here with the light on. Uh, the woman came home from work, took the letter out of the letter mailbox, walked inside with it, opened the mail. They'll mark up. Um, she felt that it had some weight to it, and it wasn't from yeah, a, a known address. Okay. So when they opened it up, uh, it was kind of these pieces of paper flipped over top of this cardboard here. Underneath this cardboard, it's taped down. Uh, this almost looks like someone's homework. It's got some writing up here. Okay. But underneath this taped area, they x-rayed it uh, with the bomb squad's equipment. Uh, this is the x-ray that they came up with. They texted me all these pictures on our work phone here. Okay. So it's showing it could be three magnets. Okay. Or three washers. They're very flat. They can't tell if there's any other material inside the envelope, but there's nothing else metallic. They do have the return address, it's supposedly from New York, um, so, but they got their intel unit that's going to be looking into it okay. for further. Um, are you guys okay with our guys opening it up? Or Definitely. Okay. As soon as we get seven guys here, we'll we'll get moving. So yeah, the X-ray that we use is a portable, so it doesn't have enough definition to say if there's powders or anything like that. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. No, you guys did a great job so far. Getting a lot of information. So it's the one with the light on it, right? Yeah. Is package, it? Yeah, there's a silver car and a white car in the driveway. It's directly on the other side of the silver car. Gotcha. It's laying on the ground. It's tiny. It's only like this big. Okay. So I, I would just like worry about homework. Homework. distance and things like yeah. that. Yeah. And now, has anybody talked to the homeowner? They were yeah, they were the uh, is, is, when they came out initially. Is there any suspicious intent? Has there been any reason for anybody to cause these no. people any harm? Nothing at all. Nothing at all? So it's completely out of the blue. Never. Just, okay. And, and you did the right thing by giving us a call. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to double check with you and confirm. Um, you know, there's no reason why anybody would want to do you any harm or anything like that. Is that correct? Okay. Do you have any kids or anything? Is there any reason why it could be like any type of uh, kids' homework or anything like that? Because uh, some of the writing in there. Okay. She's nine? Okay. Okay, was the envelope addressed to you specifically or to your address? Okay. And it has and it has your name. Okay, and it Okay, and it has your name on it and everything? Okay. Okay. All right. Um yeah, we're going to test it. I just need to know if it, there was any type of powder or liquid or anything that you came in contact with or that, that came out of it. OK. OK, thank I will call you back and let you know what we found, OK? So right now they're downrange. Uh, they're getting ready to go through some assessments. Um, 
basically recon and everything. Just they'll give the characteristics of the package, any of the writing, stuff like that. But we, we basically know all that from the pictures from uh, first two fire department and bomb squad. So right now they're hitting it with a radiation detector, Ludlum, uh, thermal scientific true defender, uh, which basically can test, analyze every substance. All right, uh, right now there's nothing on the five gas, rad detector, you're all good. Perfect, that's what I like to hear. So just got uh, confirmation that the uh, air monitor is not showing anything hazardous and uh, it's negative for radiation. So that's that's a good thing. There's some sort of coin, like 25 cent coin with a hole in the middle. That's weird. 10-4, that must be the washes they're referring to. Yeah. Do you see any kind of a powder or anything that you can be tested? No powder, we're just uh, swabbing the coins now. Not getting any reading from the uh, That's good. Copy, that's good. Um, we're good to awesome. the collection bag right now. We'll uh, set it up here by the red car, and you guys can grab it and put that in Kevin's collection bag for sheriffs. Our true defender came back, and it can't find anything that would be deemed hazardous. Um, so what we're doing is uh, SO has given us an uh, evidence collection bag. They're going to collect it and bag it and tag it for evidence. Um, so we'll put everything that we found and that you know, we tested and basically just put it all in the bag and just chain of custody will go over to SO um, and they'll take it from there. Um, after we talk to the occupant, um, kind of give her, you know, peace of mind that we didn't find anything hazardous. The bomb squad didn't find anything hazardous. Uh, and that's where SO will come into play and see if, you know, she wants to do anything further with it. That's where we sit. Is that the, uh, the paper? Where's the coins at? It's, it's like washers. You guys want this now, or? Uh, yeah, I can take it now. Yeah, we'll take it now. John, they can have it. Thank you. You guys can go on sir. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.